John Blyler, Chief Content Officer at Extension Media. Today I am at the 51st DAC in San Francisco, California. And I once again have the pleasure of speaking with Christian from Amik. Uh, we spoke together last year. And Christian, uh, what's, what's happened in that year? What's, what's new at uh, this DAC that uh, might be of interest? Uh, there is something new at this DAC. We announced a new product. Uh, this new tool, Specador, is called. This is a documentation generator tool. It's a solution that is already validated for all the users that, that use the ID. They already used it, but they wanted to have something that, that can run into their flows. And we already have some early adapters that are using it for a while, especially guys that work in IPs, that produce IPs, either design IPs or verification IPs. And when they want to ship the IP to some customer, you always have to, to send the documentation with, with the IP. This makes you know, an IP go public if you want. I mean, nobody, when you take an IP, you don't actually dig in, into its belly. And many times the IP is encrypted, so you don't get access to all the stuff in there. Christian, I, I can remember doing programming, and the last thing that any of us wanted to do was, was to, uh, to make comments. You know, we just didn't have time, and, and besides, it, we felt it wrecked the elegance of the code, perhaps. So, so how does this help? How does this make it uh, less painful for the, uh, for the coders? Uh, yes, I know, and you are perfectly right. You know, Usually software engineers or programmers, yeah, they don't write comments. Why? Because they always think their code is self-explanatory. Yeah? So, you know, I write such a good and clean code that it's obvious, you know, just read the code. You know? So why should I comment it? Uh, however, oftentimes, after a month maybe, so soon, you discover that, okay, what, what did I mean here? And why didn't I write at least two lines of comments, yeah? Uh, it's true that, that uh, writing comments is a software practice that is uh, always recommended for good reasons and always neglected. Why? Because it's not affecting the functionality. So the fact that you have a comment or not is not going to make your program run faster, better, or do its job. What is affecting is... Uh, the effects of not having comments are like uh, second level effects or like side effects. Like in the future, uh, you'll have troubles maintaining, extending, uh, even using occasionally. I mean, you'll discover that you have some IP and it's been in the dust for uh, a while. And now you say, OK, let's use it. And then, then you start digging and say, OK, I could have used at least an intentional description. Like here, I would, we would like to do this. And then, OK, it can be a sophisticated algorithm. But at least I need to understand how, what was the intention of the guy that was doing uh, that stuff. Specador, and this is interesting about Specador compared to other solutions out there that, that, that generate documentation. Uh, it actually compiles the code. Uh, and it's generating documentation that is structured, that includes diagrams, that is structured, it has design hierarchies, it has module flow diagrams, it has the concepts of ports, of uh, interfaces, of uh, classes, packages, you can see class hierarchies and all this stuff. So this means that you get an image of what is inside that package, that IP, even if it doesn't have comments, because it's, it's organized. Yeah? And you know that, OK, I'm not digging into a, a monolithic mass of code. I'm looking at some documentation, and OK, I can realize that I have two packages. And one package deals with that, and it's made of a couple of classes. And these classes, they relate with each other in this way, because I see this diagram. And I have these modules, and they you know the top looks like this. It has this flow. OK, so I can start digging from this direction. And, 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 and this is one thing. Another thing is that. If you have a tool that, that, based on your source code, it generates documentation, and if you write comments in the code and you see the documentation, all of a sudden, somehow the comments are not, not something that you are the only one that writes and reads them. They get out there. The, a manager could look over that and say, look, you did uh, you know, nice because I see here, you know, it's... The, the manager never goes into the code, but the documentation is more appealing. Then that documentation is like 
a package by itself. It gets exposed. So whatever literary talents you have in expressing uh, so it, intention. It'd be great for promotions, right? I mean, your next performance review, right? Uh, maybe for promotions. But anyway, it's like, like packaging, yeah? I mean, I'm... I did something and now I, you know, like, I package it nicely. It has the documentation aside. So, so we say, and there are many other features that, that we have in, in the IDE that encourage writing comments. So, so, so in a way we close the loop. So you get documentation immediately. You just take your IP, you compile it in Specador, it generates documentation, and all of a sudden you have something that is much better than nothing. Definitely, okay, I'm stating the obvious, but, but it looks very well and it already exposes the structure. You have diagrams that you didn't draw and so. And then, now that you see that thing, you want to put comments because it will look even more uh, civilized. 